and outside Africa, the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres wants EU member states to support developing countries in their fight against climate change. He specifically said the EU has a moral imperative and a clear economic case for supporting developing countries to adapt and build resilience. For net zero emissions is gaining momentum, and countries representing 70% of the world economy and 65% of global carbon dioxide emissions have now committed to carbon neutrality by 2050. This drive for net zero emissions must become the new normal for everyone, everywhere, every country company, city and financial institution, including key sectors such as aviation, shipping, industry and agriculture. We also need to re-establish trust between developed and developing countries. And we once again look to the EU to become a powerful bridge builder in the run-up to COP26. The way to do so is by fulfilling the promises that were made in Paris, namely regarding the mobilization of 100 billion US dollars of support to developing countries every year. And this is not a symbolic pledge. It is a vital commitment. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.